Pardon my uh, flipping out. The objective here is simple. Find a control console and change the command codes. Then Bavat won't be able to stop us from shutting down the energy drain. There are two consoles. The Alpha console is staffed by an officer who might be willing to negotiate. The Beta console. Let's just say that Commander Talk prefers fighting to talking. Or living. The soldiers here shouldn't challenge you, but be careful of the TARS. The hollow emitters won't fool them. I have another task to complete. Meet me back here when you are done with the command codes. Right then. What is this task you have to complete? Sounds suspicious to me. But anyways, yes, those are our brave warriors, now seen as Klingons. All right, Console Alpha and Console Beta are up there. Hmm. Console Alpha is up this way. This is a this is a strange planet. It's good to know that this sort this is the sort of uh, warbird that can land safely on a planet's surface. However, oh, that stupid phone again. Hold on. I swear, one of these days, I'm going to pull that phone out of the wall and eat it. <sighs> it was some idiot from the Secret Service wanted to talk about either a new recipe for Cheetos or saving the world from alien invasion. I don't know what it was. Who gives a crap? Alright. So. Let's see. Console Alpha should be right up this ridge. Everybody behind me? Yes? Hmm. Looks like they're well behind me. Oh well. The heck is that noise? What kind of alien life lives on this strange new world? A little bit turned around there for a moment. But anyways... Ah, here's where we're supposed to wind up. We're here, we're here, where is everyone? And when's, since when do I have an eye patch? I didn't have an eye patch in the last hologram, did I? Ah, well, here come two of them. And here comes the rest of them. Excellent. On the other hand, I do have an old, that same weaponry that I had last time. But we're going to have to be careful and sneak past the Targs. They won't be fooled by the hollow emitters, as I recall. So we're just going to have to step well around them. Oh dear. Well, that's that shot to hell. Get back, you dang darned animals! Okay, you know what? I might not have a batleth, but I've got something else in my hands. Take this! Well, that's that idea shot to hell. We'll scan this geranium ore. And... main. Alright then. Keep well away from the Targs, as you'll recall. Try not to draw attention to your own weaponry. We're going to be heading for there. The console is over back there. What the hell? Blast it, blast it, blast it! I am sick and tired of these stupid freaking pigs on this stupid freaking planet! Eat this, you horrid, big, fat, hoggish animal! Yes! Yar, chugga, wagga, barg, fug, wang, shamba! On the other hand, Fights on this base seem to be so common that nobody really notices when a few people wind up in a gunfight. Huh. I don't like this at all. Most, most uh, people would wind up figuring something would be wrong. Captain, I've been monitoring your progress from the ship. You're very close to one of the control consoles. There are Klingons where you need to go. You'll either need to convince them to leave their post or find other means of access. Alright. 
He said that the first one... Hmm. Access to this area is restricted! Ambassador Pavat wants to see you. He's at the landing pad. The Ambassador! Did he find out what happened to that shipment of blood wine? No, it, it can't be. We changed the manifests. Take my post, don't let anyone near this console. Okay, lady. If you say so. Enabling generator override. I see your mission was successful. Excellent. Mine was as well. I have smashed the device that Bavat used to control his doomsday machine. The planet killer is now as dangerous to him and his ships as it is to anyone else. You cannot control the storm, Captain. If you try, it will consume you. Meet me back at the ship. There is still more to do before this dark day ends and my honor is restored. Returning to the landing site. Probably doesn't help that... What the heck? Something did a number on that warrior. What was it? Hmm. It appears we left a couple of quantum mortars un unattended. Oh dear. You know what? Swordmasters and warriors alike. Bah! You are just an annoyance. Well, looks like our looks like the secret part of our secret plan is well over. I'll just stun you and finish this off with a flying punch. Everyone still here? One more warrior, and now one fewer warrior. Tayosasa, where is she? She gonna be all right, Talon? All right, time to return to the ship. It's at the landing pad. Don't look at us. Don't look at us. Don't try and start a fight. You didn't see anything back there. At least without the Targs, they have no way of knowing exactly who started this fight or why. Whoa! Ah! Well, time to meet him back at the landing pad, and not a moment too soon. <whistles> Oops. Got turned around a bit here. This is a hilly area, and if I move a little to the wrong direction... Ah, there we are. There it is. Hello to our ride out of here. So. <clears throat> now that we've returned to the ship... I presume we'll be able to head back up and watch the Doomsday Machine take out Bavat's own fleet. How very... Wait, what? Oh no. Something ain't right here. Kavalk, listen, I... Bavat? Oh no. You... <laughs> you look funny! He's the bad guy. Because of you. And you. And you. It's been a great help to me. Thank you. You're no. welcome. I will not allow you to dishonor the Empire with your thirst for blood. We face our enemies as warriors for box. We do not massacre innocents with machines of death. There are no innocents. There are only the strong. And the weak. Are you strong enough to fight your own weapon? I have destroyed the device controlling the planet killer. Uh, Ixnay on at they. This isn't over. Warriors, attack! Well. Don't eat you. Crap. Well, he himself is gone. Now all we need to do... To survive Bavat's ambush. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not much of an ambush in and of itself, but. Whap, whap. Alright. One hypo in me. You're kind of getting annoying. So are you, Mr. Swordmaster. Oh, wow. Henson Horde is doing a good job on that warrior. Huh! Egg. Well fought, everyone. 
Captain, Klingon com traffic just spiked. Bavat's forces have lost control of the Doomsday Machine, and they're scrambling all available ships to try to stop it. I've been in conflict with Commander Burgess. Now that the energy drain won't affect our ships, the Starfleet Task Force is inbound. We need to get back into space as soon as possible. Right. Board that bird of prey, and let's get out into space. You are my enemy, but today you are my only hope. I see it. Bavat's planet killer is here. Maybe it has a weakness that we haven't found yet. We need to run a scan. Go to the navigation beacon. That should be close enough for the scan, but far enough away to keep us safe until help arrives. Right, go to the navigational beacon and... Oh god. It's that Doomsday Machine. The Doomsday Machine from the t original series episode of the same name. The Doomsday Machine that destroyed Commodore Decker, his career, and ended his life. Um... Holy shit! I think it's working again. What the hell was that? Damage report! Structural integrity holding, sir. We're shook up, but we'll be okay. For now. How long is that gonna last? There's an unauthorized shuttle launch. It's... It's Kabok. What? Hail coming in, sir. I'll put it on the main screen. A hailstorm now. What is this crap? Stay where you are, Captain. I'll handle this. What? Kavok, turn that shuttle around. You'll be killed. That's the idea. My life is of no consequence. Oh, that is the idea. My honor. No, I must do this. Destroying this abomination is the only way to redeem myself. Farewell, Captain. Kavok. Oh man. And that's the end of Kavalk. Reading significant damage to the Doomsday Machine, sir. But it's still active. Captain, we still have the Harpang torpedoes. They might be enough to finish the job. The machine's hull is solid neutronium, so targeting it won't help. We'll need to fly in front of the Doomsday Machine and launch the torpedoes down that thing's throat. The fleet will be here to help distract it, but we need to be careful. If we're in front of it when it fires its anti-proton beam, we won't fare any better than that moon did. Great. Only one thing to do now. What? Wow. Klingon and Federation ships are both fighting against each other in order to distract this thing's attention, but this thing is doing so much damage in and of itself. Fire! Excellent! Uh-oh. Now get away from that thing's face. Looks like it was... Looked like it was about to fire that anti-proton beam. Whoa! oh Get out of the way! And... This thing is pretty much a... Wow! This thing is immune to everything that we're firing at it. It doesn't matter what we hit it with. But... The Starfleet Defense Force seems to have... Dis done enough damage to uh, aggravate it. Yes! 60% damage. Nothing we're firing at it is having any effect except for the Harpeng torpedoes directly down its gullet. Aiming. Steady on. Fire! Evasive maneuvers! Yay! Gah! Oh, man. That ship ain't anything anymore. Keep... Keep distracting it. Crap! Bavat sent in reinforcements. Keep firing. And... Fire. Yes! One more hit ought to destroy this thing. Oh, no. We're, hit, we're taking heavy casualties from the Klingon force. What? What hit me? 
The sheer power and awesomeness of the Doomsday Machine! That's what destroyed me! Seriously, what hit me? Oh. I've been so dis I was so distracted with by that monster that... Whoa, boy. Boy, am I glad that I was just still respawning. I was so distracted by that monster that I barely noticed that there were other Klingon ships in the area. Fire! Yes! Captain, we've destroyed the Doomsday Machine! Yes! Captain, Commander Burgess is patching a subspace signal through to us. The message is from Kronos, sir. Routing it to the main view screen now. Captain, my name is Kamen. While the Empire realizes you played a vital role in defeating a threat to both our worlds, I am afraid I must insist that you return the ship that you stole immediately. I would not want to have to escalate this into something that we will both regret. The battle is over. We do not need to begin another. Order, it might be best to do what he asks, Captain. The fleet's in no position for a prolonged fight, sir, and honestly, there's not much about the Bird of Prey specifications that Starfleet Intelligence doesn't know already. But we did what we came here to do. Let the Klingons have their little victory and the fleet can take you and your crew back to your ship. Right. The important thing is that the Doomsday Machine was destroyed. I'm sure Commander Burgess will want to congratulate you for a job well done. Right. Let's leave this system. Oh, what's left of it at least. Right. Da -da 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 -da. We've got everything. All right. Everybody's beamed back aboard. Starfleet. Kavalk's loss is unfortunate, but he did what he believed he had to do, and in the end, he died with honor. Fortunately, you were able to destroy the Doomsday device and the threat of Bavat's weapons programs. We probably haven't seen the last of him, but at least now he's disarmed. As much as any Klingon, that is. And don't worry about having to return to the IKS Targ to the Klingons. I don't believe there's much about that class of bird of prey that Starfleet Intelligence doesn't already know. If getting the ship back to the Klingons lets them think they won a small victory, I don't mind, and you shouldn't either. There are very few captains who can say that they faced a threat like you did today and lived to tell the tale. Impressive work. Thank you, sir. Let's get a bullion science officer candidate for our troubles. And let's see, which is the most, uh... Valuable. Hmm, I think I'll take the heart pain torpedo launch for myself. There's no room on the Forester for new bridge officers. Yeah, I know, but I had to take you. We'll find some what we'll find some place for you. Everybody here fought bravely against that monster today. We'll see you next time.